I'm going to solve one more problem on pointing vector. The problem number three, two problems are already solved. The videos you have, might have seen. The problem is here. So let us understand the problem. 800 megahertz, uh, so frequency of the wave is given. It's 800 megahertz. This wave is traveling and has an average pointing vector, average pointing vector that is eight milliwatts per meter square. If the medium is lossless, this is a very important one. The medium is lossless, nothing but perfect dielectric medium. Perfect dielectric medium with mu r equal to 1.5, epsilon r equal to 6. So these are the parameters given. We have to find now the velocity of the wave, nothing but phase velocity of the wave, wavelength, impedance, and RMS values of electric and magnetic fields. So velocity of the wave, we know the formula. First one, Vp is given by omega by beta. For the second one, wavelength, that is lambda, is given by two pi by beta. The third one is impedance of the medium, that is eta, which is given by 377 into mu r by epsilon r. Next one is the RMS value of electric field and magnetic field. So in this case, these RMS values are required to be found from average pointing vector. So the average pointing vector is having a relation of one by two em square by eta, where em is the maximum value of electric field, peak value of electric field. But in this case, the peak value is not required. So we have to find the RMS value, which is given by e RMS square by eta. So we already discussed how it happens because E RMS, RMS value of electric field is actually EM by root two. So square means that is EM square by two becomes RMS. So based on this, we can modify this equation. So we can find E RMS from this average value of the pointing vector. So we now, now we know how to find magnetic field H from E. There are two ways of finding this one. This magnetic field can be found from P average itself, that is eta into H RMS square. Or we can also have the alternate formula. That is, we can find H directly from E just by dividing it by intrinsic impedance eta. So this is a, just a glance of the formula required. Now we shall observe carefully before we find these values. To find uh, Vp lambda, we need beta. For eta, nothing extra required, but only thing is we need beta for the first two quantities. So we shall start our solutions with beta itself. Phase constant. Beta, which is given by for a lossless medium as omega into root of mu epsilon which can be expanded as mu naught into mu r, epsilon naught into epsilon r. 
So I can regroup these two terms, that is a mu naught and epsilon naught, keeping the relative terms outside. This helps me to reduce the formula. In this case, we can recall this relation one by mu naught epsilon naught is equal to C. That is velocity of the light in free space. Our electromagnetic waves also travel at the velocity of light in free space. So from this, I can modify this equation as omega by C into root of mu r into epsilon r. This saves some time. If you can use this equation directly, it saves your time of computation. Now here we shall continue to find beta, omega is two pi f. F is 800 megahertz. In this problem, C is 3 into 10 power 8 meter per second. Mu R is 1.5, epsilon R is 6. So you have to work out here, all these things using calculator. So we may get 50.265 radians per meter. I'll have you check this value before you proceed. So beta is ready. Now we can go for the calculations of the other terms. That is phase velocity, the first term required. This is omega by beta. Omega is as usual, 2 pi f. F is 800 megahertz. Omega is calculated just now 50.265. So this gives us the velocity of. So let me check the answer for this VP. VP is given by 10 power 8 meter per second. That is 10 power 8 meter per second. We can work out for its correctness. Second point is the wavelength of lambda, 2 pi by beta, 2 pi by 50.265, and this is going to be 0 0.125 meters. The third one is intrinsic impedance. It is 377 into mu r by epsilon r under root. The impedance calculation is quite easy. Mu r is 1.5, epsilon r is uh, 6. So with this, uh, and I get the value of 188.5 ohms. Next one is the fourth one. RMS value of E. So as I said, P average is equal to E RMS square by eta. Only magnitude is required, no vector form for this. So E RMS square is eta into P average. Eta is already calculated 188.5 ohms. P average is given in the numerical, mostly eight milliwatts per meter square. Let us check. Yes, it is eight milli pointing vector, pointing vector, average pointing vector. Look at this one, average pointing vector, whose value is eight milliwatts per meter square. It's a density.
eight million watts per meter square. So finally, this gives us the RMS electric field by taking the root of these two, 10 power minus three is equal to 1.228 volts per meter. So we can easily find RMS value of magnetic field from the RMS value of electric field just by dividing it by intrinsic impedance. 1.228 divided by 188.5 ohms gives us 6.5 milli amperes per meter. That's about it. So in this video, what we understood is how to find the RMS values of electric and magnetic field from the pointing vector. That's about the solution. Thank you.